This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. Some of our readers are familiar with a man named John Lane, who has claimed to be a traditional Catholic and a Sede Vacantis for years. On June 17, 2013, John Lane publicly posted the following statement about Jorge Bergoglio, anti-Pope Francis. It's astounding. Quote, I don't think I'm a better man than Bergoglio, for example. He may well have corresponded with his lights so far. I have no real insight into his upbringing and education. What I do know is that his title puts a significant psychological pressure on Catholics to bend their minds, to find a way to think that his naturalism is somehow orthodoxy. And that is terrible, just terrible. This is one of the major factors which has wrecked the faith of so many millions. End quote. So according to John Lane, Jorge Bergoglio, anti-Pope Francis, a man who endorses false religions, celebrates Jewish holidays, accepts false ecumenism, repudiates proselytism, denies the necessity of the Catholic faith, accepts all the heresies in Vatican II, tolerates all kinds of evil and wickedness, including support for abortion and homosexuality, might be a better man than him, and might have, quote, corresponded with his lights so far, end quote. That is simply demonic blasphemy. It is an astounding expression of heresy and apostasy. Lane is not a Catholic, period. Lane made this statement in June of this year, well after Bergoglio's complete apostasy in many areas was documented and well after he knew about it. Someone we know also wrote to him and Lane confirmed that these were indeed his words. We bring Lane's assertion to people's attention not because his views are overly significant, but because it reveals a larger and more widespread problem with so-called traditionalists and sedevacantists who obstinately adhere to the false doctrine of, quote, baptism of desire and or, quote, invincible ignorance. They are not Catholic. They don't have the true faith. No one who believes in Jesus Christ at all, or frankly, who has any goodness, who is aware of Bergoglio's beliefs and activity as Lane is, would or could make such a statement. It is demonic. Lane's apostasy proves that it's not enough to simply recognize the obvious, that Jorge Bergoglio is not a true pope. No, if you don't believe in the dogma outside the church, there is no salvation as the church has defined it. And if you don't submit to the church's infallible teaching on the necessity of water baptism when presented with it, you reject the faith and you reject God. The church teaches that to dissent in one point from Catholic teaching is to reject all faith. Lane has no faith. His statement about the apostate anti-Pope Francis proves that. Yet people with no faith at all, such as Lane, can still conform their reason to certain positions that strike them as logical and consistent. That's why some false traditionalists or obstinate B.O.D. Sedevacantis take the position that Bergoglio is not a pope. Their reason tells them that such a position makes sense, but they don't have a supernatural conviction that Bergoglio doesn't have the faith and that he's evil, a conviction that someone with the true faith possesses. They simply have an opinion that makes sense to them. Beware of these heretics and the false resistance they represent. In fact, it's true to say that Lane is almost as bad as Bergoglio. For Lane is declaring that Bergoglio is possibly justified and following God's grace in his wicked activity and beliefs. That is, for example, his participation in false worship, his complete failure to discipline anyone under him, his endorsement of false religions, his acceptance of false ecumenism, etc. Lane's statement is satanic and almost unbelievable. So when Bergoglio celebrates Hanukkah with Jews, a mortal sin according to Catholic teaching, he actually might be following God's lights, according to Lane. This is actually to conflate God's grace with apostasy. Since according to Lane, Bergoglio might be following the lights God has given him, that means that God might not have given Jorge Bergoglio, a very well-educated man who has held the high position of so-called archbishop and now, quote, pope, the lights to see that what he is doing is wrong. Even if you exclude all of Bergoglio's heinous acts of heresy with Judaism, Protestantism, Islam, schismatic, quote, orthodoxy, etc., Lane's statement would still be demonic, because it means that Bergoglio's conduct as, quote, Archbishop of Buenos Aires might have been justified and in accordance with God's light and grace. As, quote, Archbishop of Buenos Aires, Bergoglio not only tolerated liturgical abuses, widespread irreverence, and theological dissent, but he allowed supporters of abortion, contraception, homosexuality, etc., to receive, quote, the sacraments without a problem. Bergoglio also allowed Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi to receive, quote, communion at his so-called installation mass. According to Lane, God might not have given Bergoglio the lights to see that this is gravely wrong. Rather, Bergoglio might have been following God's lights in allowing these things and in doing these things. That is blasphemy. Lane is an apostate. Lane's statement proves that there's a very dark reality that pervades the obstinate, quote, baptism of desire crowd of false traditionalists and some sedevacantists. They are not Catholic. 
They don't have the faith, and this manifests itself at various times and in various situations. In fact, many of them would look favorably upon an apostate such as Lane. Like so many others, Lane has promoted false arguments and made egregious errors on the quote baptism of desire issue. Those false arguments and errors have been refuted in our material, but we wanted to bring his wicked statement to people's attention because it's a clear example of the line of demarcation between people who have the faith in our day and people who don't.